Lake and Greg Vegan Camp. It's 31st of October 2021. Dry stick banana. Ima! Oh, he's scared of the puppies. He can smell the puppies on my hands. He, Ima is very scared of the puppies. Can you help me to cut this? Even though we welcomed the dry season last month and it started to be dry, then the rain came again and we had a good rainfall this night. The last two banana palms, there are red cavendish here and red cavendish here and the rest have been harvested already and I've replanted a lot of red cavendish all around. Here in the bottom you can see the rest of the temporary dog house that was never used. The electric lawnmower, I started collecting the grass that I'm cutting and putting it around the Red Cavendish. So let's see how it works for the Red Cavendish. But I think it will grow very nicely and create beautiful, tasty bananas. What do you think? And on the mango trees, we have beans growing. And these you can eat fresh if they are young. This might be a little bit too old to eat raw, but yeah, these are used for papaya salads all kinds of salads, banana flower salads, mango salads when mangoes are in season. These are the long beans, we also have a different type of bean. The bean season is coming and they're growing all over the place. And the cool thing about beans, as everybody knows, is they're taking nutrients from the air and into the plant and maybe also into the soil. It's the nitrogen from the air it takes to grow so it, it can like enhance the growth of other plants around so you should plant beans everywhere and they will just make nice thing also beans over there everywhere beans lovely and the new papaya trees growing in the old compost they are starting to grow well and starting to get flowers and new papayas we can enjoy later and also beans growing all over the place let's see if you can spot them can you spot all the beans nobody knows Except you. Apparently ants like the beans too. So I'm here on the neighboring land and on the right side here it's the vegan camp. I can direct vegan camp. And you can see that they started. They stopped using a lot of chemicals. They're cutting the grass here now. It's very nice to see. And we're cutting the grass too here. So there's only the cornfields over there that are being handled with some kinds of chemicals. Unfortunately, fortunately, chemicals are expensive and they don't want to use much chemicals either. So good times are coming. And as you can see, you can still see the, the sky and the sky is blue. And maybe you can spot the mountains in the background. But yeah, still good air, fresh, nice, except when uh, neighbors are burning or not even neighbors, some other village is burning a lot. But Longan season is over. That was the little smoke season in, in Lee. We must revisit the little durian. Yes, it's still here. The durian tree. 
and the avocado tree is also struggling in the protection of the bananas. A lot of bananas and now we also have bakam, which is the tamarind. Tamarinds are getting more and more, they ripen up, they're huge, they're huge these tamarinds. And mosquitoes are also huge. And an abundance of extremely nice orange papayas. And the lovely compost to make everything grow like butterflies. And we have passion fruit. Very nice papayas. to make flat flat bananas for grilling or for drying very nice homemade and there is a beehive in the uh, jackfruit jackfruit tree we love bees wasps too I would wish that wasps would be in the trees like that instead in the grass where they come and sting you for no reason because they have the house in the grass on the ground which is very bad for the wasps. That papaya is ready to harvest. And because there are so many bananas in the new land and also here, we have so many bananas that I don't need to store many <clears throat> bananas in the freezers anymore because the supply is just constant and that makes also possibilities of making a lot of different banana experiments like before banana banana ice cream banana smoothies banana pancakes mashed bananas dried bananas all kinds of flat dried bananas baked bananas so all these types of bananas makes it possible to actually eat more bananas than you would be, it would be possible to eat if you just ate raw bananas. Even though people say maybe the healthiest thing for a human is to be raw. <clears throat> and also some people argue that you should go on mono meals of different foods. But for me, my system, my body, when I start eating, mono, when I try monoing, then <clears throat> at some point my body gives me a signal that okay, You've got enough of this uh, whole food. Now it's enough, you need to change to a different food. And you can trick your body by, by grilling the banana or something. Because maybe some other nutrients will be available for your body if you eat, uh, eat a grilled banana compared to a raw banana. <clears throat> I don't know if it's super healthy or what is going on, but... Ah, there are some red ants eating me. Some ants. A lot of ants. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> ah. Red ants are bastards. That's the truth. It's like itchy and hurts a little bit. It's like very annoying feeling. But anyway, so if you eat, let's say you eat bananas, the only thing, and then your body will tell you, okay, you need to switch to a different whole food because you need other nutrients. I think that's the, the healthy thing about the body, to say, okay, now it's enough, you need to switch to a different food. I don't know why, but if I switch to a papaya, I'm not able to get enough nutrients during the day. So let's say your, your activity level is low, maybe you don't need as many nutrients as I do and you will be perfectly fine on a raw food diet. But otherwise, on a raw food diet, you need to really hammer down a lot of food. <clears throat> Because in raw fruits, there's a lot of water and you need to process all that water. And you need to eat a lot, a lot of food if you eat uh, raw foods, especially if you want to go whole foods, 80, 10, 10. That means that 80% of your calories come from carbohydrates, which is what we believe from science that is the most healthy diet. If you think that 
going raw is the best thing, then let me know in the comments below. If you think that mono mealing is the a cool thing, then let me know in the comments below. If you think a variety of raw foods and cooked foods is a good thing, then let me know in the comments below. Have a good time, see you next time.